Hello. Welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. I only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes, as you should do with all sessions that are designed to send you to sleep. Um, I'm sitting here with Andre. Dooley Newland and I'm just scratching behind his ear, his right ear because basically when he goes out he collects dirt he rolls around in the mud and the dirt and I can't give him regular baths because he produces his own uh, I don't know what you call it his own kind of cleaning oil or whatever you want you know which cleans his coat but I like to get those little extra bits out. I suppose in a sense, me and him doing this, it's a bit like seeing monkeys preening each other, or pruning each other, whatever the right word is. You know, like getting rid of the fleas and the ticks, but he doesn't have fleas or ticks. He's never had fleas, have you? No, you don't get fleas. Not a cat. I know you're not a cat. Oh, what am I then? Well, you're not a cat, are you? You're you're a ferret. I thought you said I was a pole cat. Well, yeah, you are a pole cat. You're you're mixed. You're a mixture between a pole cat and a ferret. So that means I'm a cat. No, it doesn't mean you're a cat. Pole cat. It's got nothing to do with cats. Well, clearly it does, because it's got the word cat in it. Yeah, but so is Kit Kat. And that's a chocolate bar. But I thought Kit Kats had cat in them. No, they don't. Well, that's why I eat them. What do you mean you eat them? That's why I eat Kit Kats. I thought they had cat in them. That's why I wanted to go and get that cat next door, because I thought it would taste of chocolate. Andre, that's very silly. I know, but it's a good start, good opener, isn't it? Good start to the to recording. Quite light, quite fluffy, gently humorous. Yeah, I suppose so. Right, you gonna, what are you going to talk about today then, Dad? I don't know really, just talk about the last couple of days, you know, Easter maybe, yeah Easter, talk about previous Easter's that I've had, previous Easter eggs, yeah I wonder, oh that sounds really boring, thank you son, that's okay dad, can I go now, well yeah, what do you mean can you go now? Like I've ever, like I could stop you from doing anything. You always do whatever you want. I oh, know it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's great for you. All right then. Oh, when I said you can do whatever you want, I didn't mean sniff there. Go, go, stop it. Bye, bye, Dad. So. I can't remember when I last did one of these. It wasn't long ago. It was... I don't know. A couple of days. I've been very unproductive. Recording-wise. For... For at least a week. 
you know, I've done the odd session. In fact, April has been one of my least productive months this year so far. Because it's the 20th of April today. No, it's not. It's the 21st of April today. And I probably only made about seven recordings, maybe. And I've only made, uh, until today, I'd only made two deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings. Uh, and it had been something like 19 or 18 days since the last one. Or, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I made one this morning. Uh, deep Sleep Whisper. And I did a, a long one. It was forty over 40 minutes. Because usually they're about 20 minutes sometimes a little bit less but I thought I'd do a, a longer one but the thing about making recordings during the day is especially now as the weather is brightening up uh, we're on the Easter holidays as well so there's a um, there's more activity, more human activity outside. Uh, for example, the other day, I think it was what day was it? Thursday, possibly. There was music from one of the neighbours all day long. They were very generous with their music. And then there was a bonfire. And then there was just... I couldn't make a recording at all during the day. And... I kind of got a little bit caught up in the websites as well. Not caught up like in a web, but... I can't move. Help, the websites have got me. Not that kind of thing, but I, I just I got a little. I get to whatever it is that I do. I have a tendency of uh, only being able to focus on that. So when I'm making websites, that's all I think about, and that's kind of not all I think about, maybe, but it's all I do. I'm a, sometimes I think about cheese sandwiches but although I've been thinking lately about romance and how lovely it would be to have a girlfriend you know someone to share my life with and then I think well what is it that I have to share you know what? What have I got to offer? Because I'm not really sure. I'm I'm a huge catch. You know, I don't mean disease-wise. I mean, I'm just I'm not sure. I'm a. Because I don't really have anything. I've got most of the things that I have. Have all been about the free hypnosis service. You know, like. Uh, cameras and microphones and laptops and uh, a tablet that I've got and uh, various different things uh, recording little recording studio even this phone so I got an iPhone and I only got that so that I could use it for the free hypnosis service I don't need an iPhone. I don't phone anyone. And I don't really use... I'm not bothered about apps or stuff, really, generally. I mean, the only regular app that I use on my phone 
is a radio app, which is LBC Radio. But I can get that on the TV. It's just when I am, well, sort of late at night or early hours of the morning, I prefer to have the the radio on the phone and to be closer to me so that it's not disturbing the neighbours. You know, if it's on the television, it's the other side of the room and I don't know if I've described, well, I probably have described the room, but where I'm sitting here, opposite me, the other side of the room, I want to say the other side, um, it's not, it's not a bus journey, you know, it's not, it's not, it's just a few steps, but the television's there, I think it's a 36 inch television I've got, so it's not, not, not massive, but it's big enough for what I need, and it's, I've had it for probably, yeah, four years, probably be a little bit less, but yeah, pr- yeah, getting on to four years and it's worked fine and it was cheap although it is a little bit it makes weird noises sometimes when I turn it off it sort of just makes these clicky clicky noises I know some people say they you know when they're going through some trauma that maybe the television's talking to them, but mine's doing Morse code. Very strange. So opposite me, you know, that's where the television is. So that distance, which is probably, for me, probably seven, eight foot, away from me not from my feet but from my head because it's really weird if I remember I was standing in a tree when I was about eight and there's a bunch of kids I lived that's where I lived in my grandparents house before they moved in and we used to uh, me and the other children on the estate it's a council estate and we used to go uh, not hunting because we didn't have anything to hunt apart from worms um, but we used to go with sticks and the bow and arrow like made our own bow and arrows and just make dens, you know, in like little bits of waste ground. And because we were not far, well, we were, we were surrounded by farms. Um, but in between those, there's various bits of waste ground that hadn't been built upon yet. And... Kids, the children. Okay, the thing is, when you're a kid, you don't call people children. Do you? You, call, you don't use the word children until you're an adult. Yes, I'm just. Is it okay if I go out with my my child friend to go skating? You know, it's like, where were you today, son? I was with uh, the children at the park. But you're nine, why are you calling them children? You know, it's, it's, it's... But when you're older, it's like, yeah. I don't know, do you... Would we use the word adults? When I was a kid, I don't remember. I'm sure I might have done. That's it, Andre. Make lots of lots of noise. Good boy.
He wants his dinner. Andre is eating more at the moment. He's being cheeky. He's just, he's just run over to his bowl where his food goes. Just to see if it, the food was in there. And looked at me. And now he's jumped on top of me. That's cheeky, isn't it? He's basically like, he knew it wasn't there. He knows that I'm sitting here and I've not moved. It's passive aggressive, that's what it is. Passive aggressive with a little bit of mime added to it. A bit of overacting. Where's my food? Oh my goodness, my food's not there. But I thought it would be. Why is it not there? I know what I'll do. I'll sniff a little bit at the into the dish and start look around for it even though it's not there and it's not a big dish because I'm only little. But I still look around where is it? it's still not there. I know I look back at Daddy, see whether or not he'll notice. I can see, is he watching me? Oh, he's not watching me. Oh, he's making that recording still. Why are you still doing that? Oh, at least this will give him something to talk about. I'll go and jump on top of him. Hey? I'm not getting up while I'm doing a recording. I'm not. Stop sneezing all over me. Stop sneezing on over me. So I was, we were taking turns to jump out of this tree. It was a branch in a tree. Jumping out of a, out of a tree. It wasn't, it was like a big hole in a tree and would just jump out of the middle of it. Boo! It's, uh, although I have seen trees like that where you can actually get inside them. Maybe not as an adult, but when I was little. You know, I do use the word adult. But when I was little, I don't... Even now, I don't really use the word... When I was a child. Although I do... Perhaps... When I make these recordings... When I was little. When I was younger. When I was young. When I was small. When I was but a child... When I was a young'un. And so they were taking taking turns jumping out of the tree. And it was like the first branch in the tree. And realistically, it was probably about seven foot up. So it wasn't high. And I was looking down and said, no, it's, it's, it's higher than seven foot. I said, it's not. I said, yeah, it is. I can see it from here. And they were trying to convince me that actually it just seems higher because I'm an extra five foot on top. I'm looking from my head. If I had eyes in my toes, it would look a lot shorter down it wouldn't look so high I said but I haven't got eyes in my toes what kind of uh, rationalisation is that and they said well, it wasn't supposed to be rationalisation it was just an example of the fact that you're looking from your head so you've added another 5 foot on top of the 7 so you feel like you're 12 foot in the air well, actually, you're only seven foot. And I said, 12 foot? And he said, yeah. Seven plus five is 12. I said, is it? I said, yeah, it is. So I had to, I had to check. So like five, six, seven... Eight, nine. Oh, it's a butterfly. Everyone, did you see that butterfly? 
Are you going to jump, Jason? Oh, I lost count. So five. How do you know I'm five foot tall? Because we measured you last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why did you measure me last week? Because we were digging a hole. We were going to bury you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fun, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Wouldn't it be easy if you just counted five on top of seven? Yeah, I suppose. It, yeah, I suppose it would. So start at seven, you mean, and then add five. Yeah, that, that, that's what, that's what I mean. Okay, okay. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. How did you get to 14? You said start at 7. Yeah, so I did. 7 plus 7 is 14. But it wasn't 7 plus 7, it's 7 plus 5. What? Seven plus five. Oh, I'm confused. Anyway, I still don't want to jump. I'll go on, jump, and I don't think I did. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the end of the story is. That's why I decided I'm never going to turn that story into a movie. Because I don't think the ending is good enough. I think it could be a bit of a disappointing ending to all the moviegoers that have spent loads of money. The story of the tree... You hear him, he's... I just sometimes think, you know, I've got to put him in his cage every time I make a recording. Oh good, he's gone into his bag. Let's hope he stays there for at least 40 minutes. never did like jumping out of trees I liked climbing up trees because I always forgot for some reason I always forgot that I had to find a way back down some people will jump down obviously I couldn't do that because I'm not a jumper. I'm a cardigan. No, I'm not a jumper. I don't jump out of trees. That was a fabric joke. Sorry about that. And so I'd climb up a tree and then I'd be stuck. I'm basically, basically a cat. It's what cats do, isn't it? They climb up trees easily and then they they forget. It's like, oh, what am I going to do now? You hear that in the background, Andre, trying to get out the front door. You wouldn't believe that he sleeps 18 hours a day. And there's times when I can't get him to do anything. He's just fast asleep. 
But when he's awake, boy, he is awake. Fully, I can't stop talking about being awake. When he's asleep, he's fast asleep. I think he just wants to say hello to everybody, don't you? He used to do this when I made videos. He'd uh, jump up on me. Daddy, can I be in a video, please? And I'd say no. He'd say, why do you say no like that? Why so deeply? I said, because I'm feeling manly. Oh, that's weird. I think I'm going to start putting him in his cage from now on. Whenever I make a recording, I can't have him doing this. It's... <sighs> you don't even want to bite me, do you? You're, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He just wants attention. He wants to go out for a walk. And... I will take him out for a walk. I will. I will, Andre. It might just be to the park, though. I don't know if I'm going to take him all the way around the block. It might just be a quick walk or a slow walk. I don't, I don't do quick walks. I don't really do quick anything. Well... I see him again trying to get onto the table. Andre, be quiet. That's all I need is a bit of quiet. Okay? Again, he wouldn't, wouldn't listen. He knows I don't want him to do it. He knows he's not allowed on the table. But he still keeps trying to get on there. Stop it. Behave. So I'm trying to think. Easter. I mean, technically, I technically Easter's over, but technically Easter is today, isn't it? Easter Sunday. Um. Easter Sunday 2019 so this is my 49th Easter I suppose is that right yeah no Forty eight. For I don't know I'll be 49 in August Oh, by the way, I got rid of all the adverts off of the podcasts now. Because more people, more complaints. More people moaning about the adverts. I had them thinking that, you know, I could try and cover the cost of running this stuff. But I've just given up, so I took them off. And hopefully it'll be a a nicer experience for everybody uh, that listens. The Easter. I used to have chocolate. Easter eggs like most people but I remember them being really big and being really nice but I haven't bothered with chocolate eggs really as a present to give to anybody else for years and years and years because although my parent uh, celebrates my family celebrate 
Christmas and invite me to be a part of that they don't well as far as I know they don't celebrate Easter unless they do and they just um, you know maybe they do but as far as I know they don't Andre you'll be going outside a lot quicker than you realise if you keep doing this I reckon I could reach the window from here I reckon okay. oh yes okay. I want to get a new chair actually I might even get a second hand chair I want to get a chair that is chair hopefully it'll go away I'd like to get a chair I mentioned this before I went with a friend into the heart research shop it's like a charity shop and I suppose they just do researches on hearts upstairs or something and they had these chairs And they were quite upright at the back. So I've got like lower back issues. And I was sitting in this chair and it was really comfortable. And I was just, oh this is nice and I wasn't reclined and it felt like it was good for my back and it was comfortable so it's, and my feet were on the floor and a person I was with said that's for old people and, like, and I said what so I've got to wait until I'm 90 before I can be comfortable before I can sit comfortably you know there's no sitting comfortably and supporting your back is really or just being comfortable is isn't that like the whole point of having a chair isn't that the whole point of if you've got sh well I don't know maybe people wear shoes that are uncomfortable don't they sometimes I don't My shoes, I don't buy shoes necessarily for comfort, you know, they're, they're to walk in, sort of to be comfortable and, you know, I suppose how they look and stuff, because i got some shoes that are now running out, i got holes in the bottom and they're just scratched and you know but they were quite I wouldn't say expensive but they were fairly good quality shoes when I bought them back in 2014 I think it was but I tell you when I first started wearing them I heard a little ferret sneeze and I thought, what on earth? Is there a ferret in my shoes? But there wasn't. And that was before Andre was even born, Andre. And they were so tight and I just, oh, they're uncomfortable. I broke them in. Now they're, they are come well. They're comfortable apart from the bottoms because the bottoms just a bit holy. So I need to get some new shoes. But they lasted me for a while. 
But the idea of wearing high heels or some kind of shoe that was uncomfortable, I can't. I can't understand it. I don't. I think the only way I would wear high heels is if it made my stomach look slim. Because I know that some women have told me that they wear high heels because it shapes their legs the way they want. They like the way it makes their legs look or something. So if it if I wore high heels and my belly just disappeared and I was slim, then you'd be seeing me wearing high heels all the time probably. Well, you wouldn't be seeing me because you don't see me, do you? you just hear me. But I'd probably be wearing them even when I, when I made recordings. This is weird. I've now just... Andre has just rested. He's laying on his back. And I'm just stroking him. And... He's behaving himself. Because I'm not letting him off. I kind of got a little... He's, he's sighing. It's like... Oh. He does that every now and then. But I'm not letting him go. But then sometimes when I do this, I think, well, maybe he needs to go to the toilet. But guaranteed, if I let him go, he will just run off, start scratching at the door, the front door, just being naughty again. And I don't want him to do that. Maybe it's because I didn't buy him an Easter egg. Well, there you go, calf then. Sometimes if I hold him long enough, he'll get off and he'll go into his bag. So that I can't, well, he thinks I can't get to him. been looking at some books that I can read that are out of uh, copyright and I don't know which ones to do I want to read something that's interesting to me I'd say one book I'm not going to read and that's Moby Dick I actually I've got that as an audio book I thought yeah I'm going to lay down listen to this because I watched the film a long time ago but it was as far as I recall it was a good film and it's a classic book and in the beginning it was just talking about it was more nonsense than I do it's like, oh my God, someone's just rambling on about nothing. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't listen to the end. Mind you, but perhaps that's the perfect book. I don't know. So my intention from now onwards is to make one of these recordings every day a new let me bore you to sleep every day and a new deep sleep whisper every day as well as some other new stuff other hypnosis stuff that I'm planning to do And I'm just thinking, I'll just do that. Upload them onto the podcasts and do nothing else. Don't worry about anything else. Don't bother about websites or, you know, 
I'll just share them on Facebook and Twitter and probably YouTube as well and but ultimately I'm just not going to worry anymore just going to relax and just make the recordings and hopefully the people that listen to them will share them and tell other people about you know what I do and that's what I'm hoping see I don't know if that's happening it might be I really don't know I've also got a new Facebook page specifically for the Let Me Bore You To Sleep listeners I suppose if you just put Let Me Bore You To Sleep into Facebook it will come up and I thought that would be nice because just a specific place where you can congregate and celebrate my boringness and maybe let me know how you're getting on how it's how useful listening to my incredibly exciting voice is to you and maybe from there you can share the recordings with your Facebook friends so we can build a or maybe help more people to be bored and also it's a place where you can contact me I suppose and let me know what it is that you would like and it's specific just for the let me bore you to sleep so it gives me more of an idea of who's listening and you know so Facebook just search for let me bore you to sleep it's a uh, is it a group or is it a page? It's one of them. But it's open to the public. It's open to everybody. So you don't have to join. You can like the page, but you don't have to... It's not hidden or anything like that. You don't have to request to join. And I might even... Who knows, I might be able to even mention you in a recording if you liked I could say this recording is is uh, dedicated to Busty Barbara from Preston Talking of Busty Barbara, I had a friend request yesterday, and it's it was a lady called Danica, and that name seems familiar to me for some reason, and it was a picture of the person who was in a bikini so like you know the lady was in a bikini a young woman and 
I thought, oh, is this just another scam Facebook? Because I get a lot of those. But then I thought, the name sounds familiar to me. So I just added, I said I accepted the request. And the reason is because probably it could be 10 years ago. You know, it's a long time ago. I was continuously getting Facebook requests from dodgy, fake accounts, you know, with a, a young woman on the front. But it wasn't real, it wasn't, you know, they'd start sending me messages and asking me to send them money and, you know, things like that, uh, so that I could sort of, they wanted to date me, and you know, you know, those kind of, but it was fake, it was, you know, they weren't who they said they were. And I got a friend request from this picture, well, it was from a Facebook person, and again, it was this fe- young female that looked like a, like a model, kind of. And I thought, that's enough. I've had enough of this. And I tech, I met a messenger, messaged, messaged her. Messenger wasn't around back then. It was just a, a straight message on Facebook. And I said, oi, are you are you a real person or are you just another fake woman trying to get my money I perhaps should have worded it a bit better than that and she said actually I'm a real person and one of my friends recommended you because of the pain relief you do and then she added a little bit more on the end which wasn't quite so complimentary to me because I think I'd maybe not not started off in the right vein and I thought I can't believe it it's just it's so hard to know who's or not and who's genuine and who's uh, especially on Facebook when people request to join you know to become a, a friend of mine on Facebook and an easy way is if I look and 300 of their friends are already friends of me then I can see that there's that connection anyway I'm going to make this a little bit short because Andre is a bit relentless with his need to go out and he's back on me again next time I'm going to put him in his cage so he can't disturb me so sorry about any background sounds and stuff on this recording I'll try and I actually closed all the windows just to try and block out any background sound and then all the background sound being created inside the flat (sighs) never mind you take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you tomorrow bye That's it, Andre just run away. And now he's going in his bag. Now that I've finished it, he's gone in his bag and he's going to be quiet now. How wonderful. <laughs>